This demo refers to the indices generated by Warp LS, uh, starting in version 6.0, which are based on comparison between the model implied or uh, indicator correlation matrix. So the the indicator correlation matrix calculated based on the model parameters in the actual indicator correlation matrix. These indices, they are conceptually very similar to the indices normally generated by covariance-based structural coercion modeling tools. To get them, I will go to the option Explore Additional Coefficients in Indices. And uh, in the option Model Fit and Quality Indices Extended Set, I, I have access to them. These indices that are reported here, on the left I have the classic indices that are provided by the software up to version 5.0, and the additional indices that are provided starting in version 6.0 were PLS. The first two indices, they are based on absolute values. And these absolute values, they, they, they are a reflection of the difference between the model implied and the empirical correlation matrix. The first, standardized root mean squared residual, uh, the acceptable recommended value is 0.1. In our case, it's a little bit higher than that. Keep in mind that the outer model analysis algorithm used here was PLS regression. When we use factor-based algorithms, these fit indices tend to improve. And these fit indices, they, these fit indices here on the right, they assume common factor model um, that, that that common factor model assumptions are met. The second one, standardized mean absolute residual, is similar to the first, but it's actually a mean of absolute uh, differences between those two matrices. Again, recommended value is lower than 0.1. In this case, it is a little bit lower. The third is a sky a chi squared. Uh, in uh, based index, standardized chi-squared with 65 degrees of freedom. The number of the degrees of freedom here is calculated as the um, number of uh, non-redundant cells in the indicator correlation matrices, either of them, and that will be a, a minus one. So that's how typically chi-squared degrees of freedoms are calculated in situations like this. This index refers to the number of cells that show the uh, significant differences between those two matrices. And the higher the better. Acceptable is recommended 0.7, ideally 1. And as we can see, it's greater than 0.7. And this, also, this last index refers to the sum of significant differences between those two matrices. The higher, the better. So that's, uh, in, in fact, a complement of the percentage calculated based on the sum of the cells that have significant differences uh, and the total number of, and the total sum of differences between those two matrices. And this, this previous one is calculated based on counts. So these additional indices can be reported by users of the, the software to complement the classic indices and offer an alternative that is more consistent with the fit indices uh, reported by covariance-based structure equation modeling tools. And this concludes this demo on indicator correlation matrix fit 
in this system.